do it together. We are in this romantic dream all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so pure and so transcendental. Mm. Um, the topic for this video is how does it feel to be emotionally tortured by a woman? <laughs> We are into hardcore shadows here. Mm. The reason why we are talking about it is because this is fucking <sighs> real. <laughs> this is what happens in, in the core of relating to... Uh, mm. So one of the things that I discovered uh, over the last few months is how to be exposed to shadow blasts and extreme raging emotions and mm. fires coming from this goddess of pure power and energy and uh, survive survive and yeah <laughs> the blast. he's doing he's like evolved so much too yeah in your ability to to be in my fire in your in yeah in in my your shadow fire. blast in the beginning i would you know i would try to fix her, fix her what the fuck is wrong with you why are you angry you know so trying to to fix you then you would mainly try to like make it better make it better like, yeah oh, oh, okay. positive triggers you know yeah, nice like... feel good triggers hey, let me get you smoothie. and then you would and then you would exp it would explode you into your shadow and you'd get like then i would get pissed. fucking triggered and what the fuck <laughs> We are here on a romantic date. What? Why do you get triggered? What's What's this about? It's just a story which is old. Sometimes mm. it feels like the triggers were coming in, like wanting to to be exposed. And yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, then I, I I tried for a while running away. You know, I, I see you going to yeah, some, that's right. and then I go like, I'm out of here. I see you later. Bye. You know. Ooh. And then. <laughs> and then that I didn't work too well. Well. Actually, it you know as a as a tactic was because I I I extract myself from the situation and, yeah, and you cool down and then we meet again and then you go like wow well, sorry about that you know it's like remember <laughs> it's super sweet and so um, and lately what I've been doing is like uh, just stay present I did that a few times I still didn't master the <clears throat> the art of just being there uh, in a non-reactive mode mm -hmm. and just taking taking the blast. And, um, yeah, I feel like what's happening now that's really making a difference is there's some, and it, maybe this isn't, I don't know, we haven't talked about this yet, but I feel like there's something in you that knows, like is holding on to the deeper truth, which is she's in a trigger, but this is a, like, this is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. She's okay. Yeah. This can happen. This can happen. And so he's, the most recent time, he just stood in front of me as I was in a trigger of anger and rage and I was I wasn't I wasn't full blast but was it strong it was yeah it felt pretty intense it was to strong. me like maybe 70 80 percent how did yeah. it feel for you no like 30 30 20 <laughs> 20 percent it's like 20 a walk in the fun. park for you and for me it's like full-on yeah. in war zone it's yeah like, yeah it's but what was beautiful so he stood in front of me and he just, and I could feel him. It was, it was actually, I could feel myself. I was like, oh, he's not buying this. Like, I'm not taking him down. I could feel his power. And so I tried even, I went deeper. I was like, I went into even like darker shit and tried to like trigger him even more. But he wasn't really swaying. Yes. And then, Ooh. and then what happened is I kind of broke into my own vulnerability and sadness. And then you took me into my, your arms and, yeah. and then it moved through really quickly. Yeah. So when you go deeper into the shadow, what are the kind of things that you that you say to me to, to trigger me, to bring me to react? Well, there's somehow, I, I don't know, there's something, it's not, I'm not thinking about it, but there's something that knows what like the really low blow would be. The what the like blow. really <laughs> fucked up thing to say would be. So I'll just go like, and again, it's not intentional. It's, it's actually like my, um, you know, you know, I like Eckhart Tolle and he talks about the pain body, like the pain body is like addicted. That part of me is addicted to the drama and to the anger. And I want to be right. And I want to fucking make you wrong. And I want to get you like, I want to poke you in that place, poke you or stab you really. Mm -hmm. And so, um, that's what goes on. But eventually if, if I can gain consciousness, then I come out of it. Wow, I'm feeling a little bit of shame right now. No, <laughs> I mean, exposed no, why all shame? That. This is human nature. This is the thing. It is that mm -hmm. instead of being like, okay, we we have shadows inside of us, and there is something wrong with these shadows, we go like, 
you know, shadows that are part of our being. Well, and, it's what we and, do. Yeah, yeah, it's what humans do in relationship. Like yeah. That deep, the darkest stuff is going to get stirred and going to come up. Yeah. And so... Yeah. And don't get us wrong. I mean, we are talking about shadows right now. We are in lots of deep, romantic, nurturing, lovemaking spaces as well. Mm -hmm. But this is, when we talk, we talk about the shadows, it feels like we are touching on something that is really essence. And this is why we want to share it with you because it feels like there is some some deep codes embedded there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we will dive deeper into into yeah. this. It's coming. important. Yeah, people yeah. don't know how to, including us. We're learning how to navigate these territories. It's super challenging, yeah. but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's Our, we've we've both evolved so yeah, much tremendously. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we love you. Mm -hmm.